All right, so I got some acoustic panels. F-O-N-E-S-O -E is the brand, it's supposed to be 12 by 12, and a six pack. Um, really interested to see how there's a six pack in here because it is very, very, very thin, so not exactly what I was expecting. Um, need to do some voiceovers for something, and I was just looking to kind of carve out a little space down here in the basement that would um, just be able to be a little bit more uh, non-echoey. So, uh, okay, I guess maybe it's just because they're vacuum sealed that, um, so 72 hours for them to recover. So interesting. Um, so we can use spray adhesive or stickers to put onto the back and there we go. So these are the one inch thick. So I guess that's the uh, idea is they'll recover like that. Not a lot of mass to them, but I guess they will be um, one inch thick once they come out of this. So I am surprised, but I will see what happens here. So I guess we'll have a giant sound when we open that up of air rushing in. Yep. And I guess I should have cut that more better because they're going to start to want to fill up the bag. All right, so they are, I guess, beginning their journey on the way to uh, one inch thickness. So, so there they are, just foam. So no, uh, you know, Velcro, sticky, whatever, I guess you could add that on, which is one of the options I may have for um, mounting them. Uh, may just sort of staple them in here, something like that, or go with the double-sided tape, something like that. Um, so, there we go. So, let me uh, see how they do recovering after a little bit. Seems like they've kind of bounced back a bit. So, more to come on that. All right, so it's been well more than 72 hours, and these are expanded to uh, there I guess that's uh, one inch so not real not real big but I guess we'll uh, block a little bit of reverberation on some real hard surfaces so I'm going to take the headset mic off and just uh, kind of do a little test off the table here and see if that makes any noticeable difference in the mic all right, so I don't know if this will make any difference in my voice or not. There's a bit of, uh, you know, material around to be absorbing some some echoes and things. But let me kind of stand over here, so we're maybe getting a little bit of reverberation or reflections off the uh, here in the wall. So, um, well, so I don't know. Should we go for? Check one, two, one, two, check one, two, and then we'll put some of these out. And see if it makes any kind of difference on that. So, check one, two, check, check, check one, two, check one, two. Probably should do this in a more uh, interesting spot, like maybe let me try the bathroom and see. All right, so we're obviously in a much more echoey kind of room here with a lot of hard surfaces. Yeah, real hard surfaces. So um, let me uh, 
do a little test here. So check one, two, check, check one, two. Check one, two, check, check, check one, two. See if that's any different. May need more for that uh, to really make any difference, but thought I'd try it out and um, could be recording against a somewhat solid wall. So maybe it'll give me a little bit of space to uh, block the reflection right where I'm recording. So I don't know if this helps, but uh, I will give them a try and see how they do. Take care.